Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about one of the issues that many of the rookie teams struggle with and that is quickly attaching and detaching the attachments for the robot. Most of the time the teams end up using connecting pins. One of the issues with the connecting pins is it takes significant amount of time. So and given uh, the limited time for the robot run uh, amount the total time that we can always save with out of box thinking certainly helps so as you can see we spend significant amount of time aligning the connecting pins and then connecting and then detaching as well uh, that was uh, one of the l connectors and similarly if i use the black connector the same issue as, as you might have seen as i was detaching this piece the black connectors got left on this so we cannot be certain about the repeatability of those connectors so what may happen is the if this was the robot the connector from this pin gets transferred to the robot now i have to spend extra time disconnecting these pins so valuable time lost so today i'm going to show some out of box ideas uh, that can be used for quickly attaching and detaching different uh, attachments for the robot not only I'm going to talk about the attachment of the non-motorized attachments, but also motorized attachments. And I will show you how you quickly, how quickly you can attach and detach them. So to start with, let us start with our Spike Prime robot. So this robot configuration comprises of the two motors that are driving the wheel, the two large motors that are driving the wheel whereas the small motors are being used for the attachment. So first, let us uh, focus on the non-motorized attachments. And as you can see here, on my attachment, what I can do is I can connect this type of blue connectors or if I want uh, the connection to belong or if, the, if there's a too much load coming on the attachment, what I can do is I can use some an arrangement somewhat similar to this. So here I'm using an axle. So uh, another thing I want to show you here is typically when we are putting an axle, we secure the axle with the help of bushings. So if we put bushing here, this the interface won't be very smooth. So we want to we want to avoid putting the bushing on this side. So for that purpose. As you can see here, the attachment as it comprises of the axle with the stopper. So with, with that what, and then it is secured on the other side. So with that, what happens is there are no bushings required on this side. Okay. And uh, of all various interfaces around the robot, uh, you may want to all around the robot you may want to build a static structure for example a bumper here that not only helps with the alignment of the robot but also various interfaces or the various holes on this can be used for uh, the interfaces for the robot static attachment or the non-motorized attachment so as you can see this attachment has uh, this um, blue connector with axle component sticking out and you can simply just drop it in the holes here and here and and as you can see it hardly took any time let us have a quick evaluation of this interface so here one mississippi one mississippi so you can see within a fraction of seconds not only can i can attach but also detach these and not only you can put the static attachments on this side but also if needed you can put the static attachment on on sides as well here along with the suitable interfaces for example we can put this attachment over here if this is what is needed or we can put the static attachment here if that's what serves our purpose so there are many different options and again emphasizing that if the load is a small we can proceed with this small axle feature sticking out or we can go with 
much longer interface based off axle sticking out so that the engagement is significant. So I'm going to show you a similar type of attachment for an EV3 EV3 based robot or uh, the Mindstorm platform. So in this case, what we have done here is if you see over here, we have put this permanent interface for attaching different static or non-motorized attachments. So if I'm going to attach multiple non-motorized attachments, what I can do is I can put this interface permanently there and bring in various modules to attach. So for example, in this case, one Mississippi, one Mississippi, so one Mississippi, so I could attach and detach it in fraction of seconds. Similarly, I can have that interface built on my attachment itself and I can attach it at different points on the robot. I can attach it here or I can attach it. I can attach it here or I can attach it even at other locations. Okay. Now I would like to talk about the motorized attachment, how to quickly attach and detach the motorized attachments. So let us start with this pipe prime. So similar to the static attachment, onto the motor itself, we can attach or we can build the interfaces using suitable mechanical components. So in this robot, to add the versatility and utilize this space, what we have done is we have taken these two small motors and put it in two configurations. In one configuration, the motor axle is horizontal. In this configuration, the motor axle is vertical. So depending on our need, we can attach different kind of motorized attachments. So as you can see here, I want to attach this uh, mechanism or I want to attach this attachments and I want it to be motorized. So I have connected these blue connectors at the end with the, uh, so with this feature, I can easily slide it in and slide it out, slide it in here. And as the motor spins, it will power this attachment. And once the mission is accomplished, we can easily take it out in a matter or in a matter of fraction of seconds. Similarly, in the vertical axis configuration, we can attach the motorized attachment in fraction of seconds here. Okay, we have accomplished the mission and after that in fraction of seconds, we can uh, detach it and attach another mechanism here. Again, trying out on the horizontal axis configuration, attach, accomplish the task and detach in fraction of seconds. Now let us talk about similar kind of attachments for the EV3 robot. So for this robot, what we are doing is instead of using the medium motors, we are using the large motors for the attachments because of the torque requirement. And we have built up this interface for attachment. What you may see here is in addition to the uh, interface itself, we have this mechanisms, what we call the latch mechanisms. We would like to bring your attention to this attachment for the latching interface. So we are using black friction connector because with this, what happens is there is a high certainty of the latch to stay in place. We are going to show you how to attach and use the latch mechanism. So we are going to attach this uh, mechanism here and we are going to attach this attachment for the robot and we are going to see significant amount of forces being applied on this. So it is very important, as we mentioned earlier, to have a longer axle based interface so that there is a there is a significant amount of overlap. And when it is aided with the help of a latch, 
we can be sure the attachment will stay in place despite the application of lot of force. As you can see, I slide it in, then I push the latch, latch holds it in place. So I would like to bring to your attention that this attachment may work without the latch, but latch just adds additional degree of uh, securement. Okay, so if I put the attachment, the motor can actuate it. So the latch holds this attachment in place. So robot travels, completes the mission, and robot comes back to the base, and in fraction of seconds, you can remove the attachment. Here, I'm going to demonstrate it here. Okay. So, okay, one Mississippi attached, one Mississippi detached. So as you can see, we are able to attach and detach this mechanism in fraction of seconds. And we are replicating the same on the other motor. So attach, latch in place, replace the latch, detach in fraction of seconds. Hope you find this video useful. Many of our teams have benefited from such simple out of box thinking and out of box features. And uh, if you like it, subscribe. Thank you.